chapter. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey everyone. Yes, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the final cut. And today we are looking at the final chapter in the Resident Evil live action film franchise, aptly named Resident Evil the final chapter here again director writer paul ws anderson who started this franchise comes back and directs the story of alice who we see has survived the battle in dc uh after the events of the previous film and we see her uh after being contacted by the red queen to go on one final mission to help protect the last few remnants of the human race from being totally wiped out. But Umbrella Corporation has other plans for Alice as well as the human race, and we see how Alice teams up once again with Claire Redfield to try to prevent them from basically causing humanity to be fully extinct and the zombies to rule the world. Uh, Resident Evil Final Chapter is by no means a, a phenomenal film, okay? And many people are going to say it sucks, and I understand that. And for me, the Resident Evil films, especially uh, number four and five, were rough. I will say that. I, I didn't quite care for them as much as I would have, but Resident Evil, the final chapter, felt like it was trying to get more back to its horror roots, and I think they accomplished that, especially with this first opening act in here, where we just basically get Alice against remnants, uh, zombies, and creatures that are in DC. I enjoyed these action sequences quite a bit, and it really had the feel of the original and a bit of the video game as well. It really captured that, where it's just Alice by herself uh, doing what she does best, and that's kick ass. And then when she gets in, uh, goes back to Raccoon City to try to take on Umbrella, and she hooks up with the rest of the crew, you know, of uh, Claire Redfield. I enjoyed that as well. It's a great seeing uh, these two pl uh, fight uh, next to each other. Mia Jovovich is fantastic as Alice as always. I've always loved her in this role, and she is badass and kicking ass and taking names in this film, and really enjoyed her character, and she really makes it all. You can tell she's really trying to send off this character in a great big flair, and I think accomplishes that. Allie Lauder playing Claire Rudfield is great opposite Mia Jovovich, and she gets her chance to shine as well as being a badass uh, character going against uh, Ian Glenn's Dr. Isaacs, who I love this character. This character was fitting villain for this type of film. And we get Wesker back, played by Sean Roberts. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, this, is a, this was a fun film. I enjoyed this nearly as much as Resident Evil Extinction, the third one, which is still my favorite out of the franchise. But I will say this one really had a lot of that feel of that film. And they do answer a lot of questions, and they tidy it up for the most part, though Oh, a little bit of a spoiler, uh, so you can maybe skip this part. I really wish they would have ended, ended it instead of sort of pseudo ending it, ending the story anyway. Uh, I, I just wish they would have done that. They, them not doing that. It left me a little disappointed because it's like, oh, come on, guys. You, you were just going for that. You had me and then in that. But it didn't take away from my overall batshit crazy overall enjoyment where you turn off your mind and let the action flow in front of you. Speaking of the action, I did like the scenes where you could tell what was going on, but they did kind of this hyper shutter editing effect during the fight scenes, which I really wish he hadn't done. You didn't need that. I understand building tension, all that. But it distracted me a bit from some really cool choreography in the fights that they were doing in here. There's some uh, tense moments as well. And yeah, uh, you know, it's it's a Resident Evil film. I think fans will really get a kick out of this ending for this series. I think casual fans of this series will probably go, man, this really sucks. Or someone just going in for an action film, you know. And, and that's okay. This film is subjective. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, and I will say some of the CGI was a little bit sketchy in parts, but other parts it looked really good. I like the creature designs. And just look for Ruby Rose, who we just saw in Triple uh, X Return of Xander Cage, is in this one as well. And I liked her uh, screen time, the amount that she got in here. And I will say, uh, looking forward to seeing more of her on screen. So check it out if you will, folks. If you're fans, if you're not, you may want to avoid it or wait for rental. Otherwise, fans, you can check it out. I would say go for a matinee. It's worth that price at least, or $5 Tuesday. And uh, yeah, please subscribe down below if you haven't already. I appreciate every single one of you. It's because you guys I do this and remember until next time keep that ticket stub